Hey guys, I would like to welcome you to another lucky score. Uh, this time bunch of parts and a whole computer I got just for 10 leva, uh, which is around 5 euros or 6 US dollars. To start uh, with this computer, it's a 1997 vintage IBM personal computer 350. It's a middle class PC and I really hoped it would be equipped with uh, other components uh, because uh, configuration for this model can vary from uh, Intel 486 and up to a Pentium 200 MHz with uh, multimedia extension and unfortunately I have scored uh, the most modern one couple of uh, interesting things about this find but I am going to show them to you after I reposition my camera so stay tuned there we go, uh, we are ready to start our motherboard walkthrough to begin with the system memory which is situated here uh, two types of memory supported by the memory controller EDO and SD RAM 4 to 512 uh, megabytes in size at uh, 66 megahertz on this board I suppose the amount of uh, supported memory is lower because of the number of uh, memory slots more information about the Norbridge uh, here, it is the Intel 430 HK chipset. It supports all 3 volt Pentium processors, also has uh, dual processor support uh, to implement in servers, uh, not in our case. Uh, second level cache controller is inside as well uh, with support for cacheless operation, although this will hurt system performance. Also, you can populate uh, this slot uh, here with a 512 kilobyte or 256 uh, kilobyte cache modules, such as in our case. As I told you, the memory controller is inside. Uh, it supports uh, parity and error connection with uh, the proper memory modules uh, installed, of course. The South Bridge uh, here it supports PCI and ISA interfaces and as you can see I have a lot of those here and on the other side as well. Uh, it has uh, four channels, uh, EDE channels, uh, our disk controller is inside, uh, two DMA controllers and a power management controller. Other typical functions uh, for computers of that era are provided by the input-output controller here. Uh, it is made by National Semiconductor. Floppy disk controller is inside uh, as well with the real-time clock as you can see the time crystal and battery here. Uh, the keyboard controller, COM ports, parallel port and infrared interface. This uh, module here next to our central processing unit is the voltage regulator that is needed to support Pentium with multimedia extensions. Those uh, Pentiums operate on 2.8 volts, which is a slightly lower voltage than the 3.3 volts uh, provided by the system power supply. Uh, you don't need this module if, uh, for example, you use Pentium at 133 MHz. To sum up, uh, the system has uh, the legendary 32-speed TX-CD-ROM drive uh, as well as a standard 3.5-inch uh, 1.44 MB floppy drive. Just uh, like I told you in the beginning of this video, a bunch of parts along with the computer I just uh, showed you. Those uh, three hard drives, uh, I have no idea what's on them. I will check their content when I do an old hard drive uh, dig around video. The Seagate uh, 2.1 gigabytes in capacity 1996 vintage, two platters uh, for data surfaces. Uh, its uh, spindle speed is uh, 5376 revolutions per minute. It has uh, embedded servo technology and a 16 bit internal microprocessor. It is a relatively high-tech and high-performance consumer drive compared to other drives uh, from that era. Uh, the second one, uh, this uh, 850 megabytes uh, Western Digital Caviar, again 96 vintage, uh, two platters, four surfaces, uh, 4500 revolutions per minute. Uh, it is a lower class uh, than the Seagate I just showed you and therefore it is considerably slower. 
And last among our drives today, this uh, entry-level quite modern Fujitsu from the year 2000. 5400 revolutions per minute, half a megabyte of cache. This is pretty miserable. 8.4 gigabytes in capacity, not at all interesting. I may use it for storage only because I consider it to be not uh, performant enough. From the other parts, uh, this 8-bit uh, COM and parallel controller, it is usable in IBM XT's uh, 286s and 386s if you want to hook up a mouse and a printer. This chip is a sound card here. It's using the S-Audio drive chipset. It has a good DOS compatibility and it also has this secondary EDE connector. So next week uh, when I build my 486 uh, Vesa Local bus, I will be able to hook up a CD-ROM. Uh, the last sound card, uh, again, cheap ESA one. Uh, it doesn't have the e EDE connector, so I'm not gonna spend uh, time talking about it. This uh, graphical card here, AGP Matrox MGA G100. It has uh, good uh, 2D capabilities, but the 3D acceleration is poor and it's even missing a proper OpenGL driver, so no Quake 3 on it. I have left the worst for last because I did not want you to have nightmares from the beginning and by worst I do not mean this Pentium 2. The Pentium 2 is great, yes I am talking about the PC chips motherboard. PC chips, uh, Armstrong and other boards uh, like that, those were cheap crappy boards uh, with cheap chipsets uh, labeled uh, with cool words like Pro Behix PC100 and I am surprised they weren't labeled with Turbo as well. And as you can see, we have a Ali chipset uh, with a heatsink on which is written PC100 BC XL. Well, Ali Aladdin 5, for example, is a great chipset, but that's for the Super Socket 7 platform. This here uh, wasn't very good board, uh, quality wasn't uh, very good, compatibility with other parts was questionable. And there were even, especially in the mid 90s, uh, boards with fake chips, mostly cache. Uh, this board here has an uh, integrated uh, sound card. Again, the label mimics cool words like Sound Blaster Pro, but it is actually a CMI 8330, if I remember it right. Uh, some had uh, also integrated CIS uh, 6236 uh, graphics controller, a uh, bunch of crap. I, I have a couple of those cheap uh, boards actually, they are not suitable for my builds, uh, but I can uh, think of an interesting hack project with them or just uh, kill them with fire before they lay X and multiply. So folks, uh, that is all about my lucky score this week. I have already started working on my 486 Vessel Local Bus video, so stay tuned, see you in a couple of days.